confirmation is hot yoga. A hot yoga. So which means uh, it's a special ritual. Uh, ceremony done, we we'll call it hot yoga. It but happens at, yeah. a, uh, at the youth, uh, youth. Yeah, when you are, when you are, you are, you are, that's at, 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 at 18 and above. Okay. Shaving is not actually a uh, major thing. Mm -hmm. It is always, uh, shaving normally is taken, you take your, 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 your like you now, yeah. you, when you get your firstborn or your, your child, your mother is the one to, to shave. So it should not be shaving, but should be checking if this head is cold. Oh, no. That's what happens. <laughs> this is going fab. They even look at the names. the names. Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Of course, this is Culture Hub TV, your number one online TV. Remember, we are dedicated to bringing you uh, exclusive videos of different cultures and traditions of different communities of Africa and the world. So, uh, hey, how are you? Fine. You good? I'm funny. You are funny? Yeah. Or fine? I'm fine. You are fine? Yeah. Uh, last time we did a video about um, twins, uh, exclusively touching uh, with the Bukusu community, and you also mentioned uh, something about the Nigerians. Yeah. And good thing, uh, there were some reactions about our video. Uh, I think a lot of people uh, had uh, or they did, uh, they had a relation with the video. Uh, but unfortunately, I saw some reactions. Uh, someone was saying uh, that was that is just a myth. Uh -huh. A few of them mentioned something to do with myth, and uh, also another one. Uh, but no, this myth, yeah, yeah, the one who said something about the myth, uh, it was a general comment about uh, killing of the twins, and mm -hmm. yeah, and then there's this one who commented about uh, the Vuhuana uh, who, what did you say? <laughs> Being burnt, I don't know with what. Uh, oh, you, 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 you get... Um, the ones with patches you, on their you skin. You get some patches. Yeah. yeah. So there's this one who commented about that and he was saying that uh, those patches are due to maybe some chemical reactions of the body, internal chemical reactions of the body uh, due to stress. And that's what makes someone uh, to have those kind of patches on their skin. Yeah. Uh, maybe, do you have a word uh, for them or uh, for those who say it's a myth? And also to this one, can you please just try to clarify it? Now, one thing is that um, when you apply a term yeah. to a given idea, mm -hmm. it means there's something. Yeah, sure. Because when you talk of a myth, uh -huh. just like, for example, we, we talk of um, um, Bili Bili Nyanja, uh -huh. uh, you know, you know the, the talking of the Bili Bili Nyanja is the, the mecca of rain. Uh -huh. It's assumed to be in the, the, in the lake. The lake. Uh -huh. And, um, so they had to give him a reward so that he could allow the rain to come. Okay. That's a myth. Mm -hmm. But in the reality, uh, Wukimba, mm -hmm. eh, that is a weather forecasting. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You see, it's a myth in, 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 in itself. Yeah. But the reality mm -hmm. is that uh, we are getting something out of it. Mm -hmm. um, in other words, there, there, there is some logic. Mm -hmm. In other words, a myth is uh, something you can uh, come up with as uh, an idea mm -hmm. uh, so that it can uh, bring some logic. Yeah. So where we assume Billy Billy Nyanja stays in the river, I mean in the lake, in the lake. and uh, you have seen the rain when it comes, it comes with the thunder and yeah. all that kind of, you know, and then, <clears throat> you know, uh, with that lightning, mm -hmm. sometimes it, it can be assumed to be, it, it comes in the form of a cock. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I used to, uh, to hear about that. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So it, the way it comes, the way you are, you are, you, 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 it comes before your sight, mm -hmm. 
Uh, it may look like a, a lion, it may look like a cock. Yeah. 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 And so they, they, your, your, your mind should drive you to something mm -hmm. that looks like that. But um, what I'm trying to drive at is that um, as much as we say it's a meat, but the, 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 the scars are, or the, the patches are there. Yeah. And these people tend to say they have a remedy for it. Mm -hmm. So if you have a remedy for something, which means there some, must be some, some cause. Well, no, the one who mentioned about meat, uh, it was just a general comment about uh, killing of twins. Yeah. Like they were of the opinion that uh, you don't have to kill them. Yeah. Yeah, that maybe you're just killing them because you have a notion yeah, or in your mind that if I don't do this, yeah, maybe yeah, I'll, will die. I'll but, go fast. Yeah, but they were of the idea that even if you just ignore mm. that uh, set of uh, idea, yeah. nothing will change. You'll just be okay. And uh, he's right. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, we have a number of cases whereby who have assumed that mm -hmm. uh, some out of ignorance mm -hmm. uh, because they don't know what to do yeah. and they, they are still there yeah. but the remedies or the challenge will may come thereafter yeah the consequences you know consequences will yeah. come later mm -hmm. so this is what people tend to think you know, let us not in future uh, uh, encounter those challenges yeah. Yeah. so it's better to prepare ourselves yeah. So how, it, how they came up with that idea, as I said in Nigeria, yeah. they don't believe in it. They, yeah. they, 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 they say it's a curse. Yeah. But when it comes to Central Africa, mm -hmm. it's a it's blessing. A blessing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And when it comes to East Africa, it's mixed. Yeah, it's mixed. <laughs> yeah. Sure. It's, and on the other hand, they, they, they take partly, mm -hmm. if they are only boys, you will, the, 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 the father will yeah. go first. If there are only girls, the but if there are two, the girl and the boy, yeah. there's nothing it's wrong. Okay. Mm. So they equalize. And they equalize. So it's another thing, that's why we are coming up with this kind of uh, program. Yeah. Uh, it may uh, create some uh, curiosity to scientists. Yeah. At least to come in and see what is really there. Yeah. But if, as for now, we have the, the remedies, we have the hubs. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we have the hubs, mm -hmm. which, uh, of which they can wash mm -hmm. the, the twins and the parents. The parents. Uh, they, they use a sheep. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's slaughtered? Yeah. So it's they, more of they a get the card, yeah. Okay. They take the card from the, the, the sheep. And then they mix with those herbs, mm -hmm. and then they are cleansed. Are cleansed yeah. So, <coughs> what what really happens? Mm -hmm. It is still, as they say, it's a myth, but still it's it's mystic. Uh, yeah, it's mystic. <laughs> you cannot explain it. <laughs> yeah. So, to our viewers, I hope until there we have an understanding. Yes, our resource man. He has not uh, ruled out your thinking, but he's just, uh, he has said that uh, the purpose of this uh, program is to at least bring some curiosity of the scientists or those with more knowledge to just come and think, uh, help us through it and everything. But now today, guys, uh, we are just taking on from what we left last time. As you can see, we are seated at a very nice place. I enjoy mm. this mm. environment here. It's very cool. And I am sure you are also enjoying this. Oh, place, very right? much. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, today I want uh, our man uh, to help us through uh, the naming of twins. You know, naming of twins or generally even naming of children to, uh, to some communities is not business as usual. It involves some maybe rituals or some ceremonies. And now I just want us to find out more about uh, naming of twins, how it happens, uh, what are the, the things you need, or just the general process. I am curious about that. I don't know about you, but I'm sure we are on the same line. Uh, Kuga. Yeah. Is there anything special about naming of the twins? Um, 
Just as we are talking about uh, the first born, second born, yeah. third born, and the last born, yeah. uh, with the twins also naming, uh, we have uh, the first twins. Yeah. They have, we have what we call Muhwana. Mm -hmm. That's the first twin. Mm -hmm. Second twin is Mulongo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Muhwana is the name of uh, the, the twin who comes first. First, yeah. Out of the womb. Yeah. You name him Muhwana. Muhwana. Be what it a girl it? or yeah. a boy. Okay. It's, it's, it's Muhwana. It's applicable uh -huh. to both. And then the one then, who comes second. Then who, 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 is, who, who comes second is Mulongo. Mulongo. Yeah. Okay. Um, at times it may be, it may happen that there are, there are four. Yeah, triplets or maybe quadrants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. quadr quadr I don't know what. <laughs> yeah. Going on. <laughs> so whoever follows, yeah. again, you know, because they will not come at once, all of them. Yeah, sure. It will come one by one. Yeah. So the first one is Mwana. Mm -hmm. Number two is Mulongo. Mm -hmm. Number three uh, is called uh, Heisa. Heisa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, the other one will be uh, Hamala. Hamala. Yeah. Okay. And then the, the fifth one is uh, uh, Honoha. Honoha. Yeah. Hisa, Hamala, Honoha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a case when they are both uh, born on the same day. Should they? Should they? Should it happen? Or should it happen? But yeah. uh, if it in a normal situation, uh -huh. if it happens that the, the mother conceives again two or twins, uh -huh. they will just go that same sequence. Oh, the they, sequence will go on. They will, they will not count uh, Mwana again. No, no, they will call Hisa, Hisa and Hamal. And Hamal. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. Uh, that is how we name, but after Honoha, mm -hmm. uh, no more of special, special names, names for the twins mm. uh, for that set. Yeah. Okay. And uh, um, for, for uh, let's say, okay, uh, in a situation whereby we have the first set of twins, Longo, Mukwana. Yes. And then now the one following them, uh, the one preceding them. Uh, he's not a twin. Yeah, he can be. Well, as, as I said, yeah, can you know, not necessarily he has to be a twin. Okay. But be it that he's following the oh, twins. Oh, okay. For anyone, as long as he's following the twins. The twins. That's the set of the name. <laughs> yes, yeah. Okay, and it, with that it, sequence. That's it. Okay. I understand. Uh, hey guys, out there, for you guys watching us. Uh, this is uh, these names are specifically for the Bukusu community. I don't know about your community. Uh, I don't know if Luos have special names, if Kikuyu have special names, if other tribes. I don't know, but I am dedicated to explore all these tribes, all these communities. Be sure that at some point I will visit your tribe, I will visit your community, and I will want to know more about your uh, community. But meanwhile, you can just comment down down there, tell us what you think, uh, how do you name your uh, twins, or yeah, or even you can just uh, give us a glimpse of what happens during the uh, naming period. Uh, Kuka, maybe yeah. before you finish, well, we'll, there's one. We, we left out, yeah. called in Nabangi. Nabangi. It's always, yeah. in fact, that is the last. That's after Hamala. After, uh, after, 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 after Honoha. After Honoha. Yeah. We said it's Hisa. We, we start with Mwana, Mwana Longo, Mulongo, Hisa, uh -huh. Hamala, uh -huh. uh, we have Honoha, uh -huh. and then Nabangi. And then Nabangi. Yes, uh, Nabangi. Okay. And, uh, it, it means and many. And many. Na oh, Nabangi. Nabangi. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember, Bukusu is part of uh, Nini, Bantu. Yeah. And sometimes we borrow some words from Swahili. Mm, this, mm, that mm, mm, so you've just heard that it means many, Nabangi. Mm. And I guess naturally, Mingi. You see, there is some relation with Nabangi and Mingi. Yeah. I don't know if you get that relation. Yeah, Nabangi. Yeah, Nabangi. That is the end. Wakali. Yeah, but there are many. There are many. So it can be, it, 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 it means those ones following that, that sequence of the Vuhwana. Of the Vuhwana. 
Uh, be it should it happen that they are come at once, but you follow up as they start yeah. from one longer and all that. Yeah. So, but thereafter, you just name them uh, like any other. How, uh, depending can, on seasons, uh, maybe. You can be Nasmi, Nagata, Hulanga. We have Hulanga and Hutioka. Hulanga, Hulanga, uh -huh. when the child is born, yes. This one you called who? You said your name is? It is. Yeah. Wanyama. Wanyama. Uh -huh. So we can call you uh, Wanyama. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hulanga. Yeah. Maranga nan. Oh, Kuka we we. Yan the grandfather. Uh -huh. We could win. That is now naming. Naming. But yes. It will be confirmed. Who to you have is it's confirmation. confirmation. <laughs> like I was named Wanyama. Yeah. And then now uh, you go ahead explaining maybe why I was called that name. Or yeah, yeah. I was named after my grandfather. Yeah. And then now with that confirmation that I was named so after. So yeah, the confirmation is to us to us in Bukusu. Uh -huh. Confirmation is hutyoha. Uh -huh. So which means uh, it's a special ritual uh, ceremony done. We we'll call it hutyoha. So if it's you are if you are uh, in a clan. Bakwangwa, they, 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 they converge in uh, somebody's home. One who is honorable, somebody who is not, who is straightforward. Who is yeah. Someone straightforward. Uh, we oh. call it uh, Omurumbuju. Omurumbuju means a straightforward man, mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. Somebody with his own home, mm -hmm. he, he is responsible, he is, he is respected. Uh -huh. So the whole clan of Bakwangwa. Converge there yeah. with, uh -huh. with the, yeah, the young ones. Uh -huh. So you know we have the, 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 the children, uh -huh. then we have the youth. Uh -huh. So confirmation is always done at the youth stage. Uh -huh. Yeah. Why? That is hut It but happens at, yeah. a, uh, mm. at the youth. Uh, youth yeah. Stage. When you are when you are when you are, are, you are, you are uh, that's at, 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 at the 18 and above. Okay. What you have done to somebody who is actually mature to this. Mm -hmm. So at, they, they take it from 18, mm -hmm. they say this one is capable of holding some instructions. Uh -huh. So uh, during the Hut you have, there are rules. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. There are rules, we have about eight of them. Mm -hmm. And they know that you will take, you, you are able to, mm -hmm. to grasp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, are, they assume that at that age, Somebody is mature enough to grasp and follow the instructions. Okay. So Hulanga is done at the early stage. Yeah. That is, we have that stage when they they, they do the shaving. shaving. Yeah. So shaving is not actually uh, a major thing. Mm -hmm. It is always uh, shaving. Normally, is taken. You take your, 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 like you now. Yeah. You, you, when you get your firstborn or your your child. Your mother is the one to to, to shave. shave, so she should not be shaving, but she will be checking if this head is for oh, <laughs> That's what happens. It's going to fall. They even look at the nails. The nails. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So shaving is just confirming. Yeah. If indeed this is our this is the really, Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ah, ah. You know. Okay. With me, I thought it's a uh, something special that if maybe and I am sorry and I'll be just asking someone for forgiveness because I might have misled them mm. because uh, uh, fortunately we were talking about this with someone yes. just, uh, like a few days ago yeah. and uh, they were like asking me why is it that when you get a child with a bokusu mm. uh, they insist on uh, the mother yeah. or on the grandmother shaving yeah, the or the aunt yeah, or the aunt and, yeah. and I was like no you know and she must be mature <laughs> yeah. somebody mature <laughs> Not just somebody of your age, you know. Somebody who is able to to to, to analyze. This is the head for yeah. Yeah. The, nails. the nails, and, and they look oh. at the, the shape. <laughs> I, I really, I am very sorry. You know yourself. I misled you. I didn't know. By the way, I ended up uh, confusing that person, telling them, "No, mm. you know, if this child is not uh, shaved by the mother or yeah. the aunt, mm -hmm. uh, something bad will happen to the." Kid, but no, it's always to one. confirm. <laughs> eh? She said this is actually the right, this one is our blood. Mm -hmm. So equally with the Buhwana, mm -hmm. 
uh, when they are born, uh, the parents don't just go out like that. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, they may spread that to other people. Oh, okay. So what they do is they, they hold a special ceremony uh -huh. uh, whereby the, uh, uh, the, the relatives from the girl uh -huh. or the mother uh -huh. of the twins uh -huh. and the relatives of the father, uh, father from, the, father from the father's side. Yeah. They all converge there and they, they, have, they bring food. They, uh -huh. they can even come with, a, with, a, with, with a, 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 an animal. Uh -huh. Either a goat or something like that. Mm -hmm. So they come in and there is that mock, mm -hmm. uh, a mock of uh, you know, kind of mock whereby uh, on that day yeah. uh, the father and the mother and the, the twins are closed in the house. Okay. So the relatives from mm -hmm. uh, the mother's side mm -hmm. will come and you know they do what we call a mock fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they try to push yeah, the door push by the force. Door, yeah. You open the door, open the door. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So by the time when they open, uh, then they will slaughter the, 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 the animal. The, the, the animal. Mm -hmm. and then they will cleanse them. Mm -hmm. And then they will make uh, a nice visit. Mm -hmm. People will eat, people will rejoice. Mm -hmm. And if possible, sometimes they make some beer. Mm -hmm. You know, my queue, we didn't have sodas those yeah, days, we didn't have tea. Yeah, we just had So the best, the best beverage was eh? yeah. the beer. beer. So they use that one, that same beer. People will have to enjoy mm -hmm. to have opened the, the twins. The twins. Yeah. Okay. It's a special ceremony. Mm -hmm. Then from that stage is when they will have to go for shaving. Some of them may go even for months before shaving. But uh, in real sense, after they have op opened the twinship, twinship mm -hmm. uh, the next step will be to shave the, the, twins now. the twins now. Okay. So that is a special ceremony. They, they call it Huhui Kulavu Huan. Huhui Kulavu Huan. Mm. Opening of the twins. Yeah. Yeah. Now, in other words, releasing them to the community. To the community now. Yeah. Okay. That is when they can be visited by anybody. Yeah, but when they have not done that, mm -hmm. uh, the mother, even the father, he, he doesn't need to go to somebody's compound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because uh, if they go, if they happen to go, yeah, they will now see. bring forth that kind of disease. Yeah. The whole... We, 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 the scaling, we yeah. can call it scaling, what you, uh -huh. the patches. The, the eh? patches of the skin. Mm. I, I, I'm looking for that name in Boko, so how do you call it? Uh, we just they call it Vuhuana Oh yeah, Vuhuana Vamosia. Yeah. Vamosia, that was the name that I was looking for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and then they say, mm -hmm. uh, they say from uh, here says. And wait, that, wait. Uh, <laughs> I still need something there. Yeah. About Vuhuana Vamosia. Yeah. Uh, you said uh, unless. The twins are officially opened uh, with that kind of ceremony. Yeah. Is when parents will be allowed to now yeah. at least move out. They mix visit. up with the people. So the parents are the one who inflict that kind of disease to. Yeah, because you have, you, 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 you touch the, their blood, the, the twins, okay. and all that. Okay, so that's how it happens. That is how it happens. Okay, and so if uh, let's say for instance. Uh, I just meet a couple of, or a mother who was born twins. Mm. Like I am just trying to bring out this image yeah. to those of of our, of of our viewers who don't understand how it happens. Yeah. So, like for instance, if I happen to meet a mother, just on the road, mm. uh, she she recently she had born the twins. Yeah. And the ceremony has, has not been done yet. Yeah. And then now I I greet them. That's when I. Yeah, get of course. Yeah. Kind of yeah. In fact, yeah, that's what they, that's, they assume. Okay. Mm, it's assumed. Okay. Okay. But uh, on the other hand, yes. out of your question, yeah. uh, if it happens that I, unaware. Yeah, yes, unaware, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh -huh. But it is the one, the one involved in that particular activity mm -hmm. is the one who should be careful. Oh, yeah. And some. Sure. And some, yeah. 
may do it intentionally to to just uh, uh, yeah, to, to tarnish someone's uh, image or yeah yeah but um uh, is there some consequences for uh, mothers for those well the mother will not be affected mm-hmm. but the, 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 the neighbor one. yeah sure mm. that's um that's why even the products products or those like the, the food they have used on during the opening of the twin ship mm-hmm. uh, those products are normally hidden somewhere they don't just expose it oh, okay. yeah even the ash from the uh, the cooking yeah. place, the place yeah. is also removed and then they you mean cut. everything yeah okay. even the, the remains the, the food the remains the food of food remains. And uh-huh. they go and hide it somewhere or they throw it in the river that's very serious. <laughs> eh, Kuka, we mentioned uh, something about Hotioha. Hulanga. Eh, eh, Hulanga. Yeah. And I guess it will be unfair if we don't explore a little bit of it because we have just mentioned it. Mm, mm. And personally, I also have some questions. Yes. Uh, because while you were talking, I found out that I, I have some concerns about what you just said. Uh, you said uh, Hutuha is confirmation. Yeah. And Hulanga is, is a name in name the yeah. Just and even yeah. like just like in the church. Yeah. Uh, in fact it is just relevant. Even the church when you get the the, the, the Baptist, newborn. Okay, yeah. It's normally taken to the church. Church. Uh-huh. Yeah. Given a name. Yeah, you're given a name and yeah. then they, they, so in the other in other, in other words, they they, 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 they register. Yeah. Yeah? Registered. It's registered. Yeah. So it, even ourselves, the way when you say Hoveka, Holanga, mm-hmm. it's we just, just registering. It's registering the, yeah. in the family. Mm-hmm. So <coughs> it's a function whereby people tend to, the family members also, they get to know that, oh, this is uh, eh? mm-hmm. Makoha's son, yeah. Makoha's child. Yeah. Yeah? He's born to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah? He's a new newborn. Mm-hmm. The word new? Newborn. newborn. Yeah. Everybody has to receive. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. So it's important. It's very so important. So naming, um, we have the word Lisina. Mm-hmm. The word Lisina is Sisina, and the origin. Yeah, the origin. Yeah. Sisina. Yeah. The root. The root. The root. <laughs> yeah, Sisina is the root, yeah. by the way. Lisina. Mm-hmm. So there was, you see the... the, the if we are going to photography, you find the word Sina. This Sina is from Sina. Where? Where do you come from? Yeah. yeah. So no you idea. get to be known. Yes. Yeah. But Hutuha uh, is, now is confirmation. Uh-huh. Yeah. I guess Catholics have the confirmation. Yeah, they have. They got to go. Well, whereas in the, the other churches, we say, uh, uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, you go you go in the second book mm-hmm. uh, like the friends mm-hmm. friends church mm-hmm. they say uh, okay. Yeah. okay so from from childhood mm-hmm. to youth mm-hmm. mm. uh, my concerns about the Hutioha uh, and Holanga and Holanga was uh, I wanted to know because originally, my concept yeah. of Hutioha, yeah. uh, unfortunately, this is what I used to know. Yeah. I used to think that if I, if I get a newborn and say I name them after maybe my grandfather who's mm. dead or, mm. yeah, yeah, or yeah. someone who, well, who's the late, yeah. I used to know now that is Hutioha because they are the late. So I'm just uh, like, I am naming them after someone. Mm, mm. Sorry, that was my initial concept about this. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, and that's what I wanted, uh, some clarification about that, because I want to know if, say, uh, I loved my aunt or my grandfather, and they're uh, now the late, uh, and I want to name them after my kid. Yeah. Will that still be, uh, like, naming? Or uh, will uh, Hulanga is it just still yeah, Hulanga? Yeah, just Hulanga. Be- because to me, I feel like Hutuha holds a very special meaning. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, who longer? To me, it's just like a normal thing. Yeah, it's just normal. Because at some point, you will always uh, hear after you, or maybe if just say you are in a family meeting or gathering, and uh, you are asked to introduce yourself, you will introduce yourself, and then you will just overheard someone on the background saying, Ah, we are Uvam Kyoha Mutuflani. You see? Yeah, even when they are young, even when they are still young, you yeah. just hear them saying, Alice in Elio, Walimu name after. Yeah. Uh, tiuka, they don't say that, Vamulanga. Yeah. Uh, uh, proper term. Yeah. It's Vamulanga. How uh-huh. do you call Vamulanga? What? You call him who? Makoha. Oh, you, okay, you call, you, you call him after so and so. Yeah. You know, you, you know calling. But then later on is Kutioha. Now, now that is when the ceremony is now held. Yeah. Okay. So, a uh, proper term for the adults when they are discussing. To the other people, they may say, ah, mm-hmm. But the, the elderly people will say, okay. Yeah. Okay. Then Kutioha, they will confirm. They will say, Ah, Kutioha, they will no, uh, uh, So again, our, our again, mm. uh, that brings this question. Just like you said, Hutuha happens at a youthful stage. Yeah. And we come and assemble, or our, like you said, the Vakwanga, Vakwanga. Yeah. They come to a special home of someone who is honest. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, straightforward. And then now a ceremony is held. Mm. I want to know. Who are the people who come? Are they uh, maybe those young bones who are at some point named after one person? Let's say maybe Wanyoni. Hmm. Uh, or, uh, or you can come maybe Wewe Wakulanga, Wanyoni. The other one was Wafula. Hmm. The other one was Wanyama. Yeah. And then uh, all of us come to this special place or to this one place and it's now confirmed. Now, that's a very good point. You know, yeah. One thing is that um, we are of the same, uh, our father's one. Yes. We yeah, have, yeah. Um, okay, let's say your father follows my father, mm-hmm. but you, you have come from your parents, you yeah. have come from my parents. Mm-hmm. At times, you may come up with a name mm-hmm. which, not, which is not specifically Bakwango. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It could have been somebody from your, where your father is angled. Yeah, yeah. Or where your mother is angled. From the mother's side. Of yeah. yeah, so you see, you, you may have that name, mm-hmm. but on that, on that occasion, mm-hmm. whoever deals with that mm-hmm. will be confirming you are a who, mm-hmm. you will say your name, you, you will say. Okay. And I see who you have involves girls and uh, boys. Okay. Not it's only. Both genders. Yeah. And this is one, one scenario whereby people have to differentiate. Mm-hmm. After circumcision, mm-hmm. when somebody is coming from out of seclusion, mm-hmm. he's coming out, he's yeah. He's coming out. It's just like when you have a, a chick from the egg. Yeah. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. Yeah. You know, which means the, 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 the chicks are coming out of the secretion point. So the boy, on that day, it's not a naming day. People are making a mistake. They should change. When they, after circumcision, when the boys are coming out of their seclusion, they should be received. First of all, they, are rece- they should be received. Eh? Then they will pre- they will pre- prepare okay. for the hut yoga because if it is the boys who are who are circumcised, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. and then you say you are naming confirming the name. Mm-hmm. What, what about the girls? Yeah, sure. Okay. So we should involve the two people. Genders, yeah. yeah. Okay. So on the hut yoga day, mm-hmm. it involves both. Okay. Yeah, but hukwaluka. Is when, this, when, the, when the young man is coming out of the seclusion, yeah. he's now seen in the community. Yeah, sure. So he prepares for Kutio. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I guess we have understand. 
personally i am now content i came i looked for you with a lot of doubts <laughs> yeah. but i'm glad you have uh, uh, cleared uh, the doubts uh, at least now when someone calls or when our viewers reach out i'll be able to explain to them uh, what i have understood from you but uh, again just before we, we wind up i have a set of names that i don't know if they're seasonal or if they're bukusu's name or if we share some set of names with some other tribes mm. oh, i just want some clarifications mm. uh, there is uh, a name like first opicho uh, there is another one okumu um, maybe we should just start with those ones because those ones are the ones that are <coughs> I I am not sure with those set of names because I have been having some set of friends of mine uh, who are Bukusus yes and they are named Okumu mm. at the same time uh, I used I used to have a classmate who was named Okumu and he was a Luo mm. so yeah yeah um not so much familiar with the Luo even the tessels have that word, that term, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okumu is uh, to us in Bukusu. Mm-hmm. It is uh, when the mother conceives without even attending the period. Okay. She happens yeah. to, uh, to conceive yeah. without, seeing, without the seeing the periods. We call it Uesikumu. Sikumu. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Kumu, it's derived from Sikumu. Yeah. And Sikumu, what does it mean? It means the, 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 the mother didn't okay. see the periods. Okay. She happened to, uh, to conceive yeah. without seeing. So you know, naturally, yeah, you a woman is you should you should receive the, her periods yeah, and, you know, and yeah, because she would say, yeah. uh, the mother has passed me. Why? Maybe you have conceived. Yeah. But this one happens all of a sudden, she's expected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that way, ah, then that child is see, Okumu. Okumu. Okay. Yeah. Um, <coughs> there's another name called uh, Nambuswa. Mm-hmm. Nambuswa is a. Uh, uh, um, Buswa is one who is born when she's not really mature. Mm-hmm. Let's say for a, between uh, six and seven, seven months, months gestation. Okay. Yeah, she's born before even the, her day, yeah. her term is complete. It's complete. Yeah. She, oh, he is uh, male or she? Yeah. Is it for the female or both? Uh, uh, at most, is Nambuswa is goes for for female. For, female. Uh, for boys, there is a name. Mm-hmm. Okay, that one should come to. There's yeah. another name. Right uh, there's another. There's another name called uh, Sifuna. Uh-huh, Sifuna. Sifuna, like the late Sifuna, uh-huh. you know, is is one who was born. Uh, is uh, he instead of coming using the head. He comes by, from the back. The back. by the back. <laughs> back. <laughs> that is Sikuna. Yeah. <laughs> so it's possible yeah. that ca- someone can come uh, by the yeah. back. Yeah. Because oh. they can try their best, but then but the legs come yeah, first, fast. and then sh- they call him Sifuna. Okay. Which is not, uh, which is rare. Uh-huh. Yeah. So in other words, the names mm-hmm. come. Uh, normally names are given to people according to their characters, yeah. characteristics, the periods, periods. The circumstances, yeah. all those. Yeah. For this specific name, Opicho, you haven't mentioned it. Opicho, um, Opicho, we have a special bird. Yeah. We call it uh, Opicho. Uh-huh. Yeah, they normally, they can, they normally they have found it. Or I don't know when, when, I when we have the termites, when yeah. you have the termites around, you can see them passing black, black. Yeah, yeah? we call them more picho. Yes. Um, it is just that time, maybe when, so, so, uh, uh, when there are people. So it could be a seasonal name. Yeah. Someone is born during uh, yeah. that kind of period. Yeah. Termites yeah. are there. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, like waswa. Eh, uh-huh. waswa, chiswa. Eh, chiswa, yeah. Okay. Come as that, yeah. yeah. We have, um, like my name is, is Stuma. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, for a lady, is supposed to be called Stawa. Stawa. Now, Stuma means, uh, that we have special termites called uh, Chinunda. Uh, we know they are not these black ones, but they are, these ones normally c- happen to come out in the, in the evening, mm-hmm. around four, five, mm-hmm. and they make a big, you know, the, not the big one, but they are, the, 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 what you call this. So you know, they are normally mm-hmm. at such such a time. Siswa stuma, siswa stuma, and the tamas are coming out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, this uh, was stuma. So the word stuma is. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Now I understand. I am sure our viewers, you have understood. Uh, and for me, our today's episode or program, it has been it has been very interesting for me because I have been able to learn uh, something that I did not know before. And I'm so much grateful for you, Kuka, because. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much because you are trying to just teach us some of the things that we wouldn't have known. Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't have known, and unfortunately, we have parents who also do not know these kind of things. Yeah. So through you, we are able to learn so much that we might we, we could have missed them if it were not for you. Yeah. To our viewers, I so much salute you guys. You are uh, very special. We hold you dear to our hearts. Continue supporting us, continue sharing our videos, and uh, kindly remember to subscribe, remember to share, remember to refer us to your friends, and uh, uh, we will be able to produce more uh, about uh, more of this kind of programs. And uh, guys, I don't have much to tell you. Uh, I just uh, appreciate you guys. Remember, I am your host, Presenter Dante. Until next time, goodbye. Bulai. Bulai. <laughs> <laughs>